Graduates and families, honored guests, and members of the IW community, I welcome you to Marion, Indiana, and the campus of Indiana Wesleyan University for the 164th commencement ceremonies. You look great. I'm so glad you came. And aren't you glad these other folks came along with you? That's great. I'd like to give a special welcome to our speaker today, Dr. Ann Byler, and you'll hear more from her in just a bit. And thank you to the dozens of faculty and staff who've worked so hard on the details to prepare for today's ceremonies as we've celebrated our graduates. Thank you, Ms. Deborah Myers, for the beautiful prelude selections and processional. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you. We've looked forward to this day for a long time, haven't we? You didn't think it was going to get here, did you? <laughs> you remember the night you almost quit? <laughs> Aren't you glad you didn't? And now we get to celebrate. So we look forward to this. And today's three commencement ceremonies, graduates with family and friends have gathered to celebrate, recognize the significant academic milestone that you have achieved. Many of you, perhaps most of you are on this campus for the first time, but wherever you've come from, whatever pathway brought you here, we're honored and grateful that you've come this evening to be honored and to celebrate the achievements of the graduating class of April 2022. At this time, Dr. Larissa Levicheva will lead us in the invocation. Larissa serves as Assistant Professor of Bible and Christian Ministry at Wesley Seminary. Larissa received her Master of Divinity in 2002 and Master of Theology degree in 2005, both from Asbury Theological Seminary. She received her PhD in Old Testament studies from London School of Theology at Middlesex University in 2014. She's married to Dr. Absin Joseph, Dean of Wesley Seminary. Together, they have two beautiful and very talented daughters. <laughs> Larissa, please come and lead us in vacation. Please stand for the invocation, if you would. Please join me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, hallowed be your name. We are so thankful that you have brought us to this time and place. We want to sing praises to your love and faithfulness, your provision and protection, your support and grace. We glorify your name with joy because of your handiwork in our lives. As we celebrate the achievements of these graduates, we acknowledge that only because of your presence and work in their lives, they are able to be here today. We give thanks to you for the ways you have worked in them, for them, and through them over the last few years to make this achievement possible. Dear Lord, we ask now that you bless this graduation service. May your presence be known and felt in this chapel. We surrender the service into your hands. Bless every person who is involved and make everyone a blessing to your name. We pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may be seated.
Those were Professors Flanagan, Lynn, and Thompson. Thank you so much from our music division here at Indiana Wesleyan. Thank you. Beautiful. It's my privilege to introduce our speaker for today, Dr. Ann Byler. The official Ann of the well-known soft serve pretzel company, Auntie Ann's. She didn't bring any pretzels tonight, but uh, <laughs> she brought something better, and you're going to enjoy hearing from her. Born and raised in the Amish Mennonite community of Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, Ann Byler grew up surrounded by faith and family. She attended her local Amish school until eighth grade and eventually met and married her teenage crush, Jonas Byler. Jonas and Ann's peaceful life as newlyweds and young parents went into a tailspin after the tragic loss of their 19-month-old daughter in a farming accident. And as a result, Ann found herself sinking into depression and on the brink of suicide in her mid-twenties. Not knowing how to talk about the deep pain they were both experiencing, Jonas and Ann drifted apart. But by God's grace, Jonas uh, eventually and Ann eventually found their marriage being healed and put back together. And her husband Jonas found himself wanting to help others that were suffering from the same despair and hopelessness that they had felt. He had a vision to offer free counseling services to their community. And to support Jonas's vision, Ann began looking for ways to earn extra money. And when a stand at a popular farmer's market became available, she jumped at the opportunity and began twisting pretzels. Those first pretzels, it says here, in 1987, tasted horrible. <laughs> but with a few tweaks to the recipe, a year later, Anne had eight standalone stores, and she opened the first Auntie Anne soft pretzel store in a mall. Before long, Auntie Anne became the world's largest soft pretzel franchise. Anne regularly speaks to audiences worldwide, inspiring people with her authentic stories and life experiences. Her mission is to help women overcome by sharing their stories and allowing them to lead with purpose. Anne was named one of America's 500 women entrepreneurs by Working Women and Entrepreneur of the Year by Inc. Magazine. Her entrepreneurial insights and personal stories have been featured in many television shows and publications such as Oprah, Good Morning America, and Fortune Magazine. Anne sold Auntie Anne's in 2005 and has since authored two books, Twist of Faith and The Secret Lies Within which provides an inside-out look at trauma and how to overcome it by sharing her own story. Now, will you welcome, give a, a warm Indiana Western University welcome to Dr. Ann Byler. Thank you, Dr. Wright, and uh, you've told my story well. Um, th there's a whole lot more to my story, but listen, I am so grateful uh, to be here with you tonight. It is truly an honor to be sitting among you and to be able to celebrate this amazing uh, event in your life. I believe that this is a day that the Lord has made specifically for you tonight. Thank you again for the opportunity to be here and to be able to share part of my story with you. I'm a little envious of y'all. Uh, as Dr. Wright stated, I grew up in the Amish community and went through the eighth grade. I'm not a high school dropout. Uh, it just simply means we did not have the opportunity to go to high school. But what I know today is that God is not limited by our limitations. But we serve a God who lives outside of the box and he has a purpose for each one of us, and that's for sure. That's what I know today. For many of you tonight, you are, you're graduating and you're ending a chapter in your life, but there are many, many more chapters to come. We are celebrating you and your accomplishment tonight. Congratulations to all of you. This is truly a significant event, once in a lifetime for you. I believe that whenever we achieve a goal, we need to stop and celebrate 
and enjoy the moment. When we reach our goals, we do so because we have disciplined ourselves and made sacrifices along the way. I've experienced that in my own life. People have supported me and cheered me on at times when I wanted to stop, when I struggled so hard and I wanted to quit. But something inside of me said, keep moving. And I know that many of you here have experienced the same thing. I believe that all of us want to be successful. That's why you are here tonight. You really felt like a degree was important for you to be successful in life. And to be successful, I believe that we need to know why we're here on planet Earth to begin with. Why were you born and what is your purpose? What I know is that we are here by God's design. God has given each one of us a unique body to carry his presence. That is the ultimate goal and it's the ultimate purpose for his people. Everyone that's been born into planet Earth has the opportunity to carry God's presence in their bodies. When we carry his presence, we're then able to become the person that he wants us to be. Out of the billions of people alive in the world today, there is no one with the same DNA as yours. I don't know if that's impressive to you or is that like amazing to you, but it amazes me that I am one, not one in a million, but I am one of a kind. Same with you, you are one of a kind. It simply means that each one of you is uniquely gifted for a very specific purpose. My experience has been when I discovered my gift, I began to fulfill the purpose for which I was created. The greatest gift that you can give to the world is the person you were created to be, the real you. Now it may take some of us a long time to find the real me. The world is full of opportunities. And it amazes me today when I hear people talk about they can't, uh, it's impossible for them to fulfill their dream because of the many obstacles that they face. I believe if it's to be, then it's really up to me. I believe that attitude is everything. I know that's really not profound. You've probably heard it many, many times, but it's true. Attitude is 100% of whether you're successful or whether you're a success or a failure. If you think you can, and many of you have, you know, you think you can, and that's why you're here tonight, you actually accomplished what you thought you could. If you think you can, you probably will. It's been a simple model motto for me. And if I think I can't, most likely I won't. Winning or losing starts on the inside. It's the internal life of the heart and our thoughts. It's where the battle is fought. Today, in this audience with all of your friends and your family and those cheering you on and the accomplishment that you have achieved, your heart feels big, it feels large, it feels strong because you have accomplished a lot just to be here tonight. Your heart is full and it's strong. As you go out into the world, you already know that you will face and encounter many obstacles, 
Some of the obstacles are so big that you really wonder, am I gonna be able to get through this obstacle? I love a quote by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Don't allow the thoughts in your head to make your heart weak. Everything begins with and ends with how we think. There's a verse in Psalm 32, verse eight, that God was clearly showed me at the early, in the early days of Auntie Anne's. Psalm 32, verse eight, and he said, I will instruct you and I will teach you in the way that you should go. And I will counsel you with my eye. And I have to tell you tonight, God truly did all that he said he would do for me. There was a time in my business early on and for the first few years of Auntie Anne's when I just kept fretting about the things that I did not have. And there were many, but there were three things in particular that I didn't have. And because of that, my thoughts were weak. And it made my, I'm sorry, my thoughts were weakened and it weakened my strong heart because of the negative thoughts that I was thinking. My heart was becoming weak. The three things that I did not have was a formal education. As you heard Dr. Wright explain, I'm not a high school dropout. I just want you all to know that. I received my high school diploma at the age of 50 after we had started Auntie Anne's. I decided it was important to have my high school diploma. But before I received my high school diploma, one week before I received my first honorary doctorate degree. I remember that day clearly looking up to heaven. I'm saying, God, what in the world? This is crazy. And I saw him wink at me and say, I got you covered. Don't you worry about it. God has been good to me and he has been faithful every step of the way. Number two, what we did not have was we had no capital. At that time, we went to my wealthy Amish father-in-law and he told me, I'll give you the money to start your company, your first store in Downingtown, Pennsylvania. My Amish father-in-law gave us $6,000. It felt like a million bucks. Number three, we had no business plan when we launched Auntie Anne's. We didn't know we needed one. I just want you to know that Auntie Anne's is truly a modern day business miracle. A miracle simply defies the odds. It shouldn't have happened. And I know that. When I focused on what I didn't have, my heart became weak. But instead of focusing on that, I, be, I decided to focus on what I had. There were three things that I knew I had. Number one was we had a great purpose. Number two, we had a great product. How many in the room love Auntie Anne's pretzels? I just need to know that. <laughs> Thank you so much. And then number three, we had great people to carry out the mission of Auntie Anne's. I can't get into the details of that story or that part of my story, but you'll find it in my latest book, Overcome and Lead. When I decided to focus on what I had, I really didn't have any time left to think about the things that I didn't have. I call it the overcoming life. I was able to overcome my insecurities, my fear, my lack of education, 
my lack of finances, my lack of knowing anything about business. And all of my energy went into accomplishing my purpose for which, all of my energy went into accomplishing my purpose, which was to become the very best and biler that I could be. Our purpose as a business was to give and to be light in the world of business. And each one of you can be light in your world, wherever you go, wherever God puts you, be a light. The world is looking for hope and you can be that. My personal mission at Auntie Anne's was to treat all of my people with love and respect. And to make sure, number two, was that all of our customers would get a fresh hot Auntie Anne golden brown pretzel and enjoy the product that God gave us to share with the world. When I began to think about all the things that I had, there was a shift in my thinking and that was that the sky is truly the limit. I started looking for people who were more knowledgeable about franchising than I was. I can tell you at the time Auntie Anne's was, uh, was launched, there, was, there wasn't a headhunter in the whole wide world that would have come looking for Ann Byler. First of all, they didn't know I existed. Number two, I was totally not qualified according to this system of the world. But what I know today is that God knew I was qualified to be Auntie Anne and the CEO and founder of an international franchise company. I don't know about you, but that amazes me about how great our God really is. He can do anything with people who are willing to do what he wants them to do, anything. As I brought people into our business that had great talent and great gifts, they came in and brought to us and made us a company that was unstoppable. Just remember, there are always those people around you that have wisdom that will share with you in your times when you feel like you can't move ahead any further. As our company grew from one store to about five, 900 stores in 15 years, it took every ounce of energy I had to accomplish the three things that I focused on. I had a great team that supported me and embraced our purpose. I became passionate about what I had and experienced great joy in fulfilling my purpose and fulfilling it to the point that I rarely thought about what I didn't have. Today, as you think about your future, what do you have? Other than your degree, which is extremely important, but that's not all, there's much more. What is it that you have to offer to your family, to your church, to your community, and to your world? What is your gift and what is your purpose? Will this world be a better place than it was when you arrived? Will your life make a difference or are you simply taking up space and time on planet Earth? We all know that we have only one life to live. I wanna encourage you, live it with purpose. This world needs every single one of you. We need great business people to keep our economy strong. More people in business who will use their wealth to give to the many needs that we have all around us and in our world. We need more professors to educate our young people. We need more doctors and nurses to care for the sick. We need more people to care about others, more about others than they care about themselves. 
We need people who will dare to believe that they can make a difference. We need people who want to do more than simply be successful, but we need you to want to be effective. I know tonight, as I stand before you, that there is nothing, absolutely nothing impossible with faith, determination, and purpose. That combination will not only bring you great success, but you will enjoy the satisfaction of being effective. In closing, I want to point us to Jesus, the greatest man that ever lived. He is our perfect example of living with purpose. He knew his purpose and he clearly lived it out for you. Do you know your purpose? And are you willing to live it out for others? Thank you. And again, congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Ann, for being an inspiration and for those wis that wisdom that you've shared with us. Thank you so much. Will the graduating class of 2022 please stand? President Wright, it is my distinct honor and privilege to present the candidates for the following academic degrees. The Master of Science in Nursing. The Master of Business Administration. The Master of Science. The Master of Education. The Master of Public Administration. The Master of Public Health. The Master of Social Work. The Master of Arts. The Mas Master of Practical Theology. The Master of Divinity. And the doctoral degrees, the Doctor of Education, the Doctor of Ministry, the Doctor of Nursing Practice, the Doctor of Occupational Therapy, and the Doctor of Philosophy. Each of these students has demonstrated significant development in character, in scholarship, and in leadership, and all have successfully completed or expect soon to complete all university requirements for their respective degrees. Friends and family, please feel free to stand and identify with your graduate as he or she is recognized. Graduates, you may be seated. Moriah Lee Grace Mercer. Lori A. Miller. Jillian Elise Phillips. Stephen Mark George. Kelsey Danielle Pelkey. Lindsay Nicole Coleman. Adrienne Shivers. Molly Renee Phillips. Hannah Elizabeth Brown. 
Marquita Aisha Smith. Destiny Renee Jackson. Erica Lynn Stump. Mary Lindsay Randall. Daniel Charles Meddy. Kara Lee Garrison. Stephanie Ray. Stephanie Ray Smith. Morgan Nicole Cook. Kelly Renee Schiller Hatton. Lauren Elizabeth Lapierre. Erica Ann Paul. Michelle Smith. Kevin Kobler. Elena Combs. Jana Marie Imes. Danielle Lauren Munn. Olivia Schmidt. Rogelio Munguia. Sarah Schinnel. Kaylee Nicole Lewis. Adam James Gettlefinger. Amanda Sue Venters. Grace A. Arneson. Kimberly Leanne Starr. Angie Marie Corbett. Jeffrey Ernest Benj. Sean Alexander Hardy. Antoine Mask. Megan Louise Long. Audra K. Snyder. Julian Schulte. Julian Schulte. Alicia Marie Laboy. Amanda May Martin. Stephanie Lynn Bird. Courtney Elaine Coe. Friday I Abisi. Alicia LaShawn Haley. Alexis N. Severinak. Kiri. Kiri Allison Peterson. Jessica Lynn Ross. Rochelle Lee. Allison Marie Wolford. Christy Ann Felker. Carrie Barch. Laura Foster. 
Yolanda Renee Reeves. Jorel Jamar Gaines. William Chim. Jahan M. A. Sichter. Laura Marjorie Ann Stein. Amy Lauren Carr. Melissa Ruth Gutter Jackson. Susan Diane Hunt. Brent Nathan Moore. Riley Shay Hessel. Catherine Marie Wilhelm. Leah Marie Walters. Chloe Elizabeth Wilkerson. Lori Jane Watson. Samantha McAllister. Sochita Chai Hama. Tiffany J. Dawson. Anthony Scott Madden. Don McCone. Michaela Lee Moore. Mason Noah Yop. Samuel McGuire Kiroff. Kyle August Schroeder. Bradley Darren Holmes. Christine Renee Fravel. Nam Sean Haney. <laughs> Julia Dahl Hayes. Janika Wishkerwine Louvet. <laughs> Noah James Shigley. Alyssa Grace Rathbun. Childers. Courtney Danielle Childers. Caitlin Shelby Quinn. Esther Marie Gray. Joshua Joel Turnquest. Eden Day Byer. Trevor James Odell. Joshua Nathaniel Neal. Shauna Shani Young. Sierra Ray Thayman. Sierra Ray Thayman. Shani Aziza. Shani Aziza Warren. 
Jason L. Paul. Damon Christopher Cox. Shawanda McLaughlin. Shawanda McLaughlin. Alicia Renee Brown. Alicia Renee Brown. Jarell Shanae. Jarell Shanae Owens. Lori Christine Bonilla. Welling. Lindsay Welling. <laughs> Kayla Michelle Anderson. Luttrell. Abigail Elizabeth Luttrell. Boyles. Antoinette Boyles. Linda Sprague Flat. Peggy Marie Boas. Ibukun Agnes Oyenuga. Nicholas K. Ashley Kendrick. Beth Saylor. Rhonda J. Howerton. Carrie Lynn Seacrest. Carmen Noel Rodriguez. Sarah Wilkinson. Kraus. Darcy Nicole Kraus. Danielle Erica Nunley. Petrie. Renee Colette Petrie. Paige Lillian Velez. Tawana. Tawana Carter Brock. Teresa A. Hewlett. Raquel, Raquel Kimberly Strong. Emily Kate Nye. Amos Mearshot. Angel Marie Amos Mearshant. Roblo. Chelsea Lee Roblo. Alicia Ditch. Alicia Ditch. James Leonard Watchers. R. Sean Richwine. Stephanie Ann Taylor. Robin Moyer Weaver. Andrea. Marie Maley. Huddleston. Ashley Nicole Huddleston. Yesenia. Yesenia Estrada. Lydia May Clark. Jalen Leanne Allen Schaefer. Cassidy Ruth Whitmer. Kendra. Kendra Nicole Dixon. Wendler. Mackenzie Noel Wendler. 
Cody Marshall Schaefer. Lincecum. Abby Noel Lincecum. Yvette. Lori Yvette Howard. Darnell Nathaniel Tisby Jr. Scott Aaron Benz. Felicia Denise Griffin. Dominique Ann Dixon. Irene M. Nzuki. Joanne Lee Shelley. Jessica Lynn Darling. Marcy Nicole Mitchell. Richard Raymond O'Banion. Melinda S. Dietz. Kayla Jean Johnson. Caitlin Marie Blackmore. Marissa J. Carabin. Brady James Foreman. Sherelle Nicole Dennis. Faith Anne Marie Nicolette. Renetta Marie Jordan. Abigail Haas. Dominique Marshanta Smith. Tammy Terrell. Tammy Terrell Sledge Floyd. Pamela Beth Stewart. Lakeisha Copeland. Lauren Graves Croft. Katie Marie Keen. Katie Marie Keen. Mary. Mary Elizabeth Levinson. Michelle Maniac. Krista June Pomeroy. Nicholas Eon Smith. Rochelle Vanessa Saleh. Laura Denise Clark. Amber Rianne Phoebus. Emily Morrison Newton. Gina Ann Gustafson. Samantha Nicole Petty. Leela Marianne Pippinger. Killian. Tanner Davis yep. Killian. Hallie Samantha Huntinger. 
Hallie Samantha Hunsaker Kelly. Sierra Noel Green. Tina Lee. Miranda Danielle Gerald. Donald Dudley. Abigail Jenkins. James M. Baker. Stephanie Nicole Neely. Elizabeth Leanne Burton. Eliana. Eliana Celine Brooks. Shelby Leela Levy. Amida. Amida Z. Johnson. Karen Deborah Walker. Antonia. Antonia A. Smith. Lena Marlene White. Briar Nichelle McDuffie. Joanna Kai. Joanna Kai Hackney. Sarah Grace Kelson. Sarah Grace Kelson. Marie Ann Ross Driscoll. Emily Ann Schneider. Hannah Lucas. Corina, Corina Nicole Gilstrap. Mary L. Soshaki Mooney. Ellen Rebecca Dreams. Tracy L. Fossler. Kaylee Joy Clydens. Omar I. Perkins, Jr. Adrian Poe Hinton. Hannah Nicole Bryan. Chelsea Marie Burke King. Paul Andrew Sirwatki. Laurent M. Bujambi. Kiana Shea. Kiana Shea Franklin. Corey Lynn Harton. Valerie Hirschberger. Mary Allison Watkins. Kylie Shea Marlott. Tremanisha. Tremanisha Montgomery. Chantal Sharon. Chantal Sharon Jefferson. Carlisa Carvel. Carlisa Carvel Taylor. Lori Ann Norick. Yay. Heidi Renee Rainford. 
Alyssa Renee McDonald. Chrysander Rebecca Johnston. Rebecca S. Munzma. Erin Lee Scholler. Dana Renee Flannery. Joe Dominiguez Boss. Kristen K. Heschelman. Molly Ann Malina. Amy Murray. Audrey E. McRitchie. Cameron Kitchell. Kendra Lynn Honeycutt. Andrea Ray Gustin. Ariana Kashan Freeman. Cassandra Addington. Tara Lynn Robertson. Kimberly Ann Senders. Melanie Michelle Lamb. Jenny Marie McLean. Carissa Lynn Schnitzler. Sabrina Lynn Harrell. Melissa J. Watterson. Bethany Super. Anthony Bernard Sentliver. Tiana C. Peterson. Hannah Jordan Madison. Mignon Snow Rumsey. Lisa A. Broyles. Jennifer Marie Zirkel. Cheryl Ann Walker. Sarita Georgia Thomas. Emily Diane Mayer. Miranda Angrick Lazo. Jessica Theophilia Ace. Catherine Kuipers. Aaron Dwight Yates. Lacey Kathleen Smith. Brittany Renee Fickert. Jamie Brooke Kidd. Donald Gerard Groff. Courtney Tyree Samuels. Christy Tapp. Rita Jones Brewer. John Calvin McDonald. Amber Hollahan Clampett. Ashley M. Reynolds. Amber Christine Turnbow. Passion Moore. Heather Nicole Phillips. J. 
Jessica Nicole Doan. Naisha Anise Wheeler Sanders. Michela Danielle Perkins. Elena Brodsky. Gabrielle Renee Carter. Taylor Marie Maser. Taylor Lindley Weed. Almaline Holston Reedus. Desiree Shanae Jackson. Angela R. Bova. Flavia de Faria. Eric Thomas Yoder. Christopher Martin Lowe. Carlos Enrique Torres. Kim Plants. Brooke Ann Wingert. Alyssa Ann Thompson Osborne. Sarah Christine Armour. Rachel Nicole Abrahams. Natalie Noel Bazell. Spencer Lee Hubbard. Aramis Williams. Tasia Brichet Green. Caitlin Faye Miller. Wendy Ann Fields. Jennifer Lynn Adams. Victoria Bethany Felton. Brianna C. Durrell. Kara Joy Good. William Jason Lennell Reeves. Priscilla Lane Eason Talley. Derek Lorenzo Shepherd Sr. Dale Shelburne. Michelle Lynn Vrujink. Diana Lynn Earhart McGraw. Aisha Japora Renee Ford. Russell Clark Brown Jr. Chase Francisca Mendez Aviles. Alicia Marie Hughes. Christy Lynn Baugh. Shelby Brianna Chandler. Shanice Danielle Pointer. Christine Shup. Victoria L. Whiteside. Sheena K. Robinson Grimes. 
Cassandra E. Stewart. Lirby D. Aaron Delisle. Dia Louise Merriweather. Faith Ann Ward. Rachel Sarpung. VC Marco Lawong. Yudon Omar Perkins. Catherine A. Nicastro. Sashay Johnson. Megan R. Murray. Eric Blaze Divalo. Ashley R. Brown. Joy Lynn Parsley. Emma Catherine Vaught. Sasha Renee Nice. Sasha Renee Nice. Laura Sanders. Richard Allen McGuire. Joey Kyle Creekbaum the third. Michael Shane Gray. Zachary Allen Baldwin. Josue N. Mbamba. Aditoya Samuel Lamidi. Akila Valerie Lynn Cherry. <laughs> Lindsay Ann Wilson. Lisa Reitzman. Caroline Tiratilli Griffith. <laughs> Megan Nicole Brown Hall. Crystal Lee, Crystal Lee Henry. Kristen Hicks. Kristen Hicks. <laughs> Alexis Dawn Guard. Erica Lynn Smith. Sean Chester. Caitlin Page Olson. Sarah Lee Kleeplap. Kaylin Thompson. Dylan T. Kelly. Rosado. Mason Davis Rosado. <laughs> Bethany Rose Tippin. Nancy Elaine Bell Fote. Yeah. Kayla Moni. Kayla M. Moni. Rebecca Lynn Perry. Taikima Mia Elizabeth Davis Coltrane. Kelly Darice Jonas Han.
Linda S. Anderson. Matthew Allen Thornburg. Lillian Amaya. Audrey Abraham. Juan Carlos Rodriguez Cameron. Nicole Rockwell. David Nathan Lucas. Kenya Donette Banks. Bahomi Musomakio. <laughs> Andrew I. Christman. Terry R. Adams. Marta Louise Yortsoy. Amanda Dorzak. Hope Victoria Stevens. Emily Rose Hill. Laura Rebecca Walls. Michael Allen Dickey. Todd Sloan. Ifenei Chinidi Azubiki. Jason Daniel Cox. Please join me in celebrating Dr. Yesenia Jimenez, Captain. Dr. Judy Lewis Kagi. Dr. Candice Michelle Gifford Nespicar. <laughs> Dr. Zachary Aaron Paley.
Dr. Rosalie Nataki Pettigrew. Dr. Corey G. Smith. Dr. Jeffrey Olison Clark. Dr. Aaron Von Gross. <laughs> Dr. Grace Soli Hoti. Dr. Maria Veronica Hughes. Dr. Marissa Junianti Manic. Dr. Victoria Marie Boyer. <laughs> Dr. Trevor P. Bradway. Dr. Kelsey Garverick. <laughs> Dr. Kayla Jordan.
Dr. Victoria Joy Lefevers. Dr. Haley Sue Martin. <laughs> Dr. Tess Mary Elaine McAllister. Dr. Haley Beckwith McCool. <laughs> Dr. Courtney Nenny. Dr. Annabelle Ruth Olson. <laughs> Dr. Irvi Patel. Dr. Brittany Ann Reeves. Dr. Jordan K. Schalk. Dr. Adriana May Stroop. Dr. Sean Jerome Kindle. Dr. Brian J. Todd.
and Dr. Jessica Condry Wells. Will the graduates please rise? It's my distinct privilege to congratulate each of you upon the successful completion of your degree requirements. We're proud of you. And our prayer is that you'll distinguish yourselves through a life of service to God and to your fellow human beings, that you'll bring honor to Christ in all that you do and to your alma mater, Indiana Wesleyan University. And now by the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the State of Indiana, I confer upon you the appropriate degree with all the rights pertaining thereto. You may now turn your tassels. Congratulations, please be seated. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dr. Leslie Jackson, and I have the privilege of serving in Indiana Wesleyan University's Occupational Therapy Doctorate Program. It is my honor to introduce our graduate speaker for this evening's ceremony. Dr. Victoria Boyer earned her bachelor's degree in exercise science from Indiana Wesleyan in 2019. As an undergraduate student, she also played on the women's softball team. During her doctoral residency, Dr. Boyer served here on campus with the IMPACT program. The IMPACT program is a collaboration between the Grant County Special Education Cooperative and Indiana Wesleyan University that provides inclusive opportunities and post-secondary options for 18 to 22-year-old students with intellectual disabilities. The program supports academic, social, and life skills through mentorships with traditional students, volunteer jobs on campus auditing courses of interest, and continuing goals in their individual educational plans. Now, having earned her doctorate in occupational therapy, Dr. Boyer plans to pursue clinical practice as an occupational therapist while working for a home health agency in Topeka, Kansas. Please welcome Dr. Victoria Boyer. Faculty, friends, and family. First and foremost, I want to congratulate all of the graduates here today. We have achieved something incredible despite the overwhelming circumstances of a pandemic. We can do anything. Each one of us sits here today with our own stories. Throughout my undergrad and graduate school time here at Indiana Wesleyan, I've met several people that have led me to the person that I am today. From coaches who fearlessly proclaim the gospel, professors that care and support me beyond the classroom, friends to listen and grow together with, and a graduate program that challenges me to dig even deeper, 
Each and every person that I've encountered has played a vital role in my personal and spiritual life. It's the individual people at IWU that have prepared me and the rest of the graduates here today for the endless possibilities that our future holds. Whatever your story in this point of life has been, or wherever life looks like it's taking you, we all sit here today with only the beginning of our stories written. And there's no better, more encouraging message for me to share with you today than that of the one that holds the rest of our story. As we look forward to what is yet unwritten, we can find comfort in the author who holds every detail of our story in his hands. Jesus has the ability to transform each and every one of our stories. He can bring us from darkness to light, from broken to whole, and from lost to purposed, all because he chose to take our place and die on the cross for our sins. Without him, we will always be searching for more. But with the gracious gift of salvation, we have the freedom to fully live in the purpose that he has given us. If you're sitting here today as someone who's unsure of the rest of your story, I urge you to seek Jesus for his absolute truth about you. We, friends, have already been more than equipped with the wisdom and knowledge throughout our time here. It's now our responsibility to go and share our gifts with the world, bringing the gentle and radical love of Christ to all that we encounter. John 15, 5, Jesus tells us, I am the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, then you will bear much fruit. With the power that Jesus gives us, we will leave this place today with the opportunity to build the kingdom of God all across the globe. So, as we go from here, each with a different story, may the resounding legacy of this school always be reflective of the gospel, and may we, as graduates, forever cling tightly to the vine that is our Father, this community, and our school. Thank you. Dr. Boyer, thank you for those thought-filled words. Graduates, congratulations to each of you on your achievements. And on behalf of the approximately 90,000 alumni serving around the world, it is my privilege to welcome you to the Indiana Wesleyan University Alumni Association. You are now part of a university family with a rich 100-year history. We often mark time by events in our life by the time time in our life by the events that occur. And we read in God's word that there is a time or a season for everything, a time to sow and a time to reap, a time to mourn and a time to rejoice, to name just a couple. This is certainly a monumental event and a time to rejoice as we celebrate your accomplishments. Enjoy this time with your family and friends as they celebrate this season with you. As we welcome you to the IWU alumni family, we are looking forward to a lifelong connection and many more times together. We want to celebrate your successes and be a resource to you in the years to come. Our hope is that as you look at your diploma on the wall or your alumni pin, you will offer a prayer for Indiana Wesleyan and your extended family serving around the world. As we embark on the next chapter of, as, of life as part of the IWU community, may we pursue greatness through servanthood. Let us boldly seek to change the world by letting our gentleness be evident to all. May we spread the peace of God so that the world may know the God of peace. Again, congratulations and God bless. Each year, one faculty member from across the university is selected based on his or her work and investment in students, both inside and outside the classroom, to receive our outstanding teaching and mentoring award. The recipient receives a personalized engraved glass sculpture along with a monetary stipend. This year, it is my great pleasure to announce the 2022 recipient is Dr. Deborah Drake from the School of Nursing.
Debbie has taught in the School of Nursing for 25 years. Thank you, Professor Drake, for your outstanding teaching and mentoring of hundreds of students. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you very much. Please stand together as we sing How Great Thou Art. This has been a beautiful time together. Congratulations to each of you. We're so proud of you. You know, before we go, if I could just share a word with you as the president of your alma mater, I'm struck today with how much we look around us and we see what causes us fear and concern and worry. And when we have fear and concern and worry, we're not at our best. We tend to turn on each other. We look at each other and we see the things that divide us, the things that make us different, the things that make us suspicious of one another and pretty soon our communities start to break down. Our families and our communities don't have the goodwill and the well-being that we need. But you know something? Those of us that graduate from Indiana Wesleyan University are world changers. We're world changers. That means we make the world a better place. And God has made us alike. We all have the same heart. 
We love the same things. We love our families. We love our communities. We love our country. And I pray that God would help each of us to spread the love of Jesus Christ out of our own hearts into our families, our businesses, our communities, our churches. Can we turn the tide of suspicion and polarization and angst and fear to acceptance and love and care and help for one another? Can we do that together as alumni, world changers of Indiana Wesleyan University? I'll bet you can. Will you? That's the question. That's my challenge to you. This is our last commencement. I'm retiring. So that's the last message I'm going to give to any graduates from this stage. I've shaken almost 20,000 hands across this stage. I've, I've read over five, 6,000 names. And those are all wonderful people out in the world, making the world a better place. And Helen and I want to just thank our Lord Jesus Christ for every privilege he's given to us, for saving us from our sins and allowing us to live for him. We love IWU, we love these people. Now Dr. Peñaranda is going to come and lead us in the, or the benediction. Dr. Peñaranda is a native of Bogota, Colombia and has served at Wesley Seminary since 2014. Currently he's Associate Professor of Global Leadership and Latino Christian Studies. He holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in Theology from Life Pacific College East, a Master of Arts in Religion from Azusa Pacific University, and a PhD in organizational leadership from Regent University. He's married to Courtney, they have three beautiful children, and he is one amazing person. Luigi, love you, thank you so much for all your ministry. Come and lead us in the benediction. Following the benediction, would the audience please be seated for the recessional. So the benediction is not a word of prayer, it is a pronouncement of blessing. I want to bless you today. Dear graduates, today you are standing on the summit. You have conquered this mountain top. You are at the highest point of the climb. In front of you lies the promised land. See, the Lord your God has given you the land. Go up, take possession. Do not fear, do not be dismayed. May the Lord your God go before you. May he fight for you. May you be blessed in the city. May you be blessed in the field. May you be fruitful in everything you do. May you be blessed when you go out. May you be blessed when you come in. When you experience abundance, may you be blessed. But don't forget that it is the spiritual beggars, the poor in spirit, who will inherit the kingdom. May you experience abundant joy, but know as well that in times of mourning and grieving, you can still be blessed because God is our comfort. May you achieve your dreams and do great things but don't forget that the meek and the gentle and the humble inherit the land. May you experience the blessing of having enough. May you hunger and thirst for justice. May mercy smile upon you as you show mercy to others. As you take the land, you may face some giants. May you be a peacemaker, one who does not retaliate against violence with violence. When someone strikes you on the right cheek with the back of their hand, as if attempting to humiliate, humiliate you and diminish you, may you have this blessing of turning the other cheek not to allow anyone to oppress you and diminish you, but to say, I am your fellow human. I am your neighbor. Your oppressive power does not work on me. 
And when you get persecuted for being righteous, may you be blessed. When you encounter opposition, may you disarm them with love. Let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. May you discover greatness in serving others. Now, today you stand on the summit. Today you have conquered this mountaintop. Today you are at the highest point of a climb and the promised land lies ahead. Change the world. I want to finish with this. There's a word in Spanish that usually is used as a farewell. It is adios. <laughs> but adios means to God. A Dios. To God. So today, I commend you to God. A Dios. Ah, Dios, ah, Dios. May the Lord bless you. Thank you